here we are with the Used Companion magazine, and this is April 28th of 1910. So it's 104 years old. So it's interesting to see the stories that they wrote way back then. So we're going to continue to read more stories to you. This one is called Another Pair of Sleeves. George Henty, beloved of boys as the author of many stirring stories, is described in 60 Years in the Wilderness by Henry W. Lucy as the warm-hearted, shortest-tempered man in the world. Before he found his true vocation in writing boys' books, Henty tried various methods of supplementing his salary on the standard. One was the recovery of tin from broken or just used utensils. For some months, his study was filled with a bad smell and scraps of broken tin. The smell was engendered by efforts to melt off the tin from the baser metal with the assistance of a chemical compound invented by the operator. The next thing that attracted Henty's attention and filled him with hope or fortune was the building of a reversible boat bound to write itself automatically. He took rooms up the river and with some assistance from a village mechanic built his boat. To a certain extent it provided an unqualified success. At the slightest well-directed touch, sometimes without it, it would turn over keel uppermost with Henty in the river. Writing itself was, as the French say, another pair of sleeves. Through some anxious weeks, he was frequently ignominiously rescued by a passing boat and walked home, oozing water from pockets and boots. In the end, his landlady gave him notice that she could not be always mopping up after him. I fancy he gladly seized this opportunity of retiring from the boat building business. All right. Hope you've enjoyed this. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more stories from the Youth Companion magazine. Bye-bye now.